Intelligent Concrete, where innovation and sustainability meet technology. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. John Belkowitz here, Intelligent Concrete. You've joined us for Concrete Tech Talk, where we're focusing on translucent concrete. So before we get into the meat of this chat today, uh, a quick definition of what translucent concrete means. And the idea behind translucent concrete, as the name begs, is concrete that allows light and color to pass through. Now, this can be done in a, a couple of different ways, and we're going to focus on those ways right now, and then the uses here in a little bit. Uh, and ultimately, the payback is how can you use this in your next construction project? So first and foremost, how do we define translucent concrete? And there are three basic types. The first one is very rudimentary style, creating a, a basically a skylight or a window through what would be a concrete wall. It's basically a cutout. And um, we've got a few photos here, one showing a concrete ceiling with a cutout in it, and another one showing a, a concrete wall that has been put through almost like a CNC machine, basically a, a CNC or a concrete core machine, large scale, and Swiss cheesed the concrete significantly. And then finally, this other one is a concrete eggshell that has been precast with holes in it, giving it this really cool eggshell Swiss cheese, I don't know what else you call it, look to it. Uh, the, the second type is using recycled glass bottles in concrete. And the famous one that I can remember is from that, oh, Whitney, what's that Transformers movie with uh, the Shia LaBeouf? Oh, and Yeah, but there was the second one oh. with Megan Fox before she was kicked off. Right. Right. Dark Side of the Moon? No, no, no. Right. I can't remember. Rise of the Sun? No. See, I'm sure no. I can look it up. Whitney's going to look it up, but really nice. You'll see the picture here. Um, but you're recycling glass bottles and basically laying it down. And every time you put a layer down, you put a, a, a layer of concrete over it until Revenge you form. Revenge of the Fallen. What's that? Revenge of the Fallen. Revenge of the Fallen. It's when they're in some type of a they're sand. In Egypt. In Egypt. Um, and they walk through this one area where there's nothing but glass bottles and concrete that make up the wall. And it gives her a very interesting look to it. Now, the third way, which you'll see right here, is using optical fibers. And probably the most difficult way out of the, the types to make translucent concrete. But it does give the most visual appear, uh, uh, appealing type of um, translucent concrete. And funny enough, it's going to have the mo most amount of strength per cross-sectional uh, uh, area or even volume. Uh, and that's because those optical fibers that we're using are much stronger than an empty space. And those optical fibers are much stronger than that glass bottle, especially when we normalize the size out of it. Um, but ultimately, there are different ways to create this translucent concrete. And you could do it anything from, you know, buying Home Depot materials, going to the recycling yard, or even ordering some stuff on Amazon or Alibaba. And while it's important, it's warranted for us to get a good foundation with the definition of these three, the, the next thing that's most important, the, the payback for you is, gosh, John, how do we use it in our next construction project? And my knee-jerk reaction is aesthetics. I remember years ago when I first met Translucent Concrete, one of the creators told me that Translucent Concrete is basically taking the ugly out of concrete. Now my knee-jerk reaction was to punch this person in the face because concrete is not ugly, all types, forms, and varieties. Uh, but then I understood what this person was trying to say that to the, the common person, concrete is unattractive because it's cold, it's dark, and it doesn't allow light and color to pass through. But by using translucent concrete, you can now turn what would be once uh, a, a, a room that doesn't have natural light coming in because of a concrete wall. Now you can replace that concrete wall, which doesn't allow light and color to pass through, with translucent concrete or you know any of those different types. And now we have something that you know brings a little more openness to the facility, brings a little bit more light uh, and a little bit more energy. And I've got some lovely pictures here um, that show different types of concrete 
or translucent concrete. The first one is this concrete lamp, and while it's really pretty, I think it's more of an art deco piece than something that actually has a, a usefulness to it. Maybe a softer light and a massage. Uh, you can call them not massage parlors because <laughs> that sounds – that's the wrong side yeah. of the tracks. What, what do you call where you go get a massage? I just – the Ravish salon. Room Salon. A massage salon. A massage spa. Or a spa, yeah. Massage spa, not a salon. No. Yeah, so a warm light, kind of like those Himalayan rock salt lamps. Uh, and then you've got what I was talking about earlier, these, you know, these concrete walls that could take place of regularly regular masonry units or cinder blocks. And now you've got that that light and color that passes through. And then of course these other art deco pieces which act as light fixtures. Um, and as you can see, as we go through these different pictures, you'll see here, here's a, a hotel room uh, with this nice art deco piece on the wall. And then of course, you have this pool grotto. Again, all of these things are, are taking what was an ugly shell and turning it into something prettier and something very interesting because, again, we're taking this, this what was once a, 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 a dull concrete and turning it into something that looks almost like a you know, a starry night, if you will. That being said, one of the things that I've, uh, that we picked up on was using translucent concrete and crosswalks. And what I really like about that, it, it, it allows you to change up the light palettes for your crosswalks, just in case there's construction, there's an emergency or people stop or go. And then that light is hidden underneath or the, the, the mechanisms, the, the bulbs, as well as the infrastructure is hidden underneath. Uh, so it's out of the way. So, you know, the whole idea of this, it's not really an art deco, although it is interesting, but it is now a functional piece for transportation and, you know, pedestrian management. Uh, and I absolutely love something like this because it also brings a certain vibrance and a, a certain new age to the city where we're putting this thing, uh, which separates it from more traditional concepts. Outside of that, that's really what we can do with translucent concrete. It's either taking something what once was quote unquote ugly and making it pretty or using it in some type of an infrastructure transportation program or something akin to that. Now, we once did see, I don't know if we're going to be able to find the picture, somebody created a TV screen using concrete and optical fibers, but again, they were just projecting the image through the concrete. It wasn't, you know, actually connecting some type of a, 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 a you know, an x-ray gun or some type of a, a projector into the concrete itself, which would be flipping cool, but we have yet to see, ooh, maybe we could do that as a project. All right, y'all, we got an idea. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete! Beat asphalt.